All right, welcome to the Witcher Math Channel. As you could probably tell from the title, what we're going to work on today is just a quick lesson on converting uh, bivariate data or two variable equations, linear equations, from standard form to slope intercept form. There's what those two forms look like. There are samples, and there are different reasons why you might want an equation set up in either one of these forms. It's pretty common to uh, come across an equation in standard form, and you need to uh, do some other things with it. And, uh, or you're just simply asked to convert it to slope-intercept form to show that you understand what that means. Okay? So whatever the reason, you need to know how to do it. So here we go. I'm going to start with just this example that we have right here. Okay? So first of all, since I want it to look like this, this x needs to migrate to the other side. And we do this by using inverse operations. Right? To make that a zero, I need to uh, add the opposite, right? Inverse operations. And I'm also going to add that to both sides. So inverse ops, both sides. OK. So that's going to keep my equation balanced by doing it to both sides, but it's also going to change what it looks like. Let's rewrite it. Let's stick with red for writing it. We've got 3y now equals 6x plus 9. And you can see it's starting to look like slope-intercept form, but it's not quite there. We want to have a single y. Need 1y. So in order to do that, since uh, this is multiplication here, 3 times y, inverse ops, right? It's not an exciting video game. It's just uh, doing the opposite math operation to everything, okay? Inverse ops, both sides. BS means both sides, okay? So I've got uh, y. Back to red here, make it pretty. Y equals 2x plus 3. We did it. Okay, so we're just using our standard, um, very basic inverse operation problem solving skills to change from one form to the other. We've gone from solving for the y intercept in this case, 9, to solving for y. It's just reorganizing an equation to isolate a different variable. Let's do a couple of samples, why don't you say? Let's take this one. 2x minus y equals 7. Okay, I'll keep those notes handy for you right there. Take a moment, see if you can change that to slope-intercept. Right now it's in standard form. Pause it if you need a little extra time. Go ahead and convert that. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Inverse operations. We're going to make that zero out, right? Some people say cancel out, but it's really we're combining like terms using inverse operations. I'm going to get technical about it. Okay, there we go. I could write 7 minus 2x, it really doesn't matter. But since I know slope-intercept form is going to have the variable and the coefficient first followed by the constant, or the y-intercept, um, I might as well put it in that order right away. Now you might think you're done, but you are not. We need to multiply both sides by negative 1. Right? We want a positive y. So anytime you want to change the signs, you want to change signs? You want to go from being a Pisces to a Taurus? Well, all you have to do is multiply by negative 1, but do it on both sides. BS means both sides. Balance the scales. So that just means this equation will stay the same but everything will change signs, and there's our new one. Okay? 
let's practice one more and call it a day. Of course, we'll have other videos about going the other direction, starting off with slope intercept and going to standard form and also how to graph from either form. But for today, we're just covering this simple skill. Here's one. Let's go green. Let's go green on this one. Okay, 4x plus 2y equals 11. Let's do it. X needs to go. Inverse operations both sides, right? And it's very helpful to go ahead and say, or at least think, what you're doing in your head right before you do it. So in case you ever have to justify or explain your work, you know how. You've already got those words going in your head. Now what I need to do, inverse operations both sides, right? This is multiply, so I need to divide. So I'm going to divide everything by 2. Everything, both sides. And what we end up with is y equals negative 2x plus 11 halves. I'm just going to leave it like that, right? You could call this five and a half if you want to decimalize it. There we go, vocab word of the day. Change something into a decimal. That's not a real word, but hey, it's kind of fun. Decimalize it. So there's our slope intercept form. There. We just had a quick lesson, a couple of practice problems, and we are out of here. Stay tuned for more excitement. Next time, we'll learn how to go this direction with it. And uh, then beyond that, of course, we're going to learn how to uh, graph from either one. Until then, thanks for watching and subscribing and telling your friends and teachers and students. I really appreciate it. And uh, let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to uh, teach in this format. Thanks so much. Bye.